A Folsom County Commissioner pleaded the Fifth Amendment more than 100 times today when asked under oath if she planted tracking devices in her former chief of staff's cars. Calvin Brock has sued Fulton County Commissioner Natalie Hall for sexual harassment, wrongful termination, and back pay. Fox News Angelique Proctor has been following the story from the beginning. She's at the federal courthouse with today's details. Well, good evening to you both. Uh, the Fulton County Commissioner had her chance to tell her side of the story. She says she and her former chief of staff had a consensual sexual relationship, but she says she didn't fire him. District 4 Commissioner Natalie Hall told the court she hired Calvin Brock just days after meeting him at a rooms to go because her team thought he would be a great addition. The commissioner testified several months later the two started having a sexual relationship and that Mr. Brock told her repeatedly that he loved her. But much of Wednesday's testimony centered around what happened once that love was gone. And three tracking devices Brock claimed Commissioner Hall planted in two of his vehicles. In damaging testimony, a Covington police sergeant said he traced the three devices back to the manufacturer and determined Commissioner Hall bought all three. Under cross-examination, Hall's attorneys appeared to score points when the sergeant said Mr. Brock did not turn the devices over immediately and delayed contacting police for several months. When questioned about those tracking devices, the commissioner pleaded the Fifth Amendment against self-incrimination over 100 times. Brock's attorney said Commissioner Hall only started talking about ending Brock's employment after she listened to conversations he was having with other women. The commissioner said she was done with Brock after he screamed, yelled, and disrespected her in public and told her he was quitting the $125,000 chief of staff job on numerous occasions. The day ended with the former commissioner's director of administration and communications, Robert Kelly, taking the stand. Kelly told the court he believed Commissioner Hall was trying to get rid of Brock and seemed to sexually harass him by making him feel uncomfortable and using demeaning tones at times. Mr. Kelly also testified that the county auditor told Commissioner Hall someone filed an anonymous complaint claiming she was having sex with her chief of staff. Kelly said the auditor told the commissioner he could, quote, make the complaint go away. Mr. Kelly said Commissioner Hall responded, do what you have to. And Mr. Kelly's testimony was critical because he actually worked in the office with both Hall and Brock and could perceivably be more objective. We are reporting live from the federal courthouse, Angelique Proctor, Fox 5 News. All right, thank you for that update, Angelique. We're